Welcome to another edition of Dan Frequently Asked Questions, in which we address questions of common concern that divers might have. In this edition, we're going to be discussing PFOs and diving. We got a question from a diver who asked that his wife was an experienced diver, in fact both of them were, and she had at one particular stage shown signs of decompression illness after a fairly insignificant dive, a no-deco dive, but was then diagnosed with a PFO, a patent for Arma Navale. She was eventually treated and able to continue diving, but chose to dive with Nitrox 32 so that there uh, would be no bubble formation. And that really gets to the heart of the rest of the question because the question was, would she now be able to dive on Nitrox 32 to 40 meters? Now here's the issue. What we're concerned about with PFO is that bubbles that form on the venous side are pushed over to the left side of the heart and from there they're distributed throughout the body but we're most concerned about the heart and brain. The whole point of your wife uh, breathing nitrox is actually that she doesn't develop bubbles at all because if bubbles don't form then the individual's PFO is irrelevant because they won't have shunting of bubbles. So the answer to the question, although it's a fairly simplistic one, is that uh, uh, diving deeper would increase the chances of her developing bubbles. Now there is a second part to your question and that is whether or not she could then breathe 100% oxygen underwater uh, and whether that would then be a possible way of avoiding bubbles and thereby protect her, essentially as if she was diving more shallower. Well in principle it might be, but there are some dangers in uh, setting up oxygen breathing systems underwater. It is doable, so in theory it would be possible and in fact likely that if she were to work out a schedule of breathing oxygen at six meters and then at three meters before returning to the surface that she is unlikely to form bubbles. There's no way that we would be able to guarantee that though and of course it isn't something that we generally recommend for people to breathe 100% oxygen underwater even though at uh, 6 meters and 3 meters that in itself should not pose a significant risk. So if you take all those factors into consideration it is theoretically possible for you to dive and you are asking the right questions and what you would need to uh, determine is whether or not there are bubbles. Now if you were in Belgium and we could actually run these tests in the uh, 30 meter pool we'd actually be able to do these tests and check underwater whether bubbles actually formed. My personal recommendation and I must say if she were my wife I would probably stick to the shallow dives breathing 32 to 36 percent nitrox and avoid bubbles as far as possible and in fact even go as far as only go as far as only using two-thirds of the uh, maximum uh, no decompression time underwater. I hope that's helpful in the end it's a question you'll have to answer for yourself but you uh, have posed a very interesting and very thought-provoking pr question and I hope that we've provided you some guidance as to how you uh, would get answers. Until next time, to the rest of you, safe diving.